Okay, today we'll be opening up and comparing these three oil filters. This Pure Later oil filter, number L10241. This Baldwin oil filter, number B7165. And this John Deere oil filter, number AM125424. And I got these oil filters from a very generous viewer whose name is Jim from Mobile, Alabama. Thanks, Jim. These filters fit Jim's John Deere X300 lawn tractor. Yep, the one with the 472cc 17 horsepower Kawasaki V-twin engine. And these three filters are going to duke it out. Could get ugly, folks. And when the dust clears, we'll see who the winner is. So let's get started. It's just a network. You got a really good silicone. Get nice and tight. Get your hand in here. Filtration. Okay, let's start with the pure later. We'll start with the box. Right here we got, it's rated for 5,000 miles, 96.5%, and that's dirt removal power. So that's at uh, 20 microns. And it's a, a synthetic blend media. Right here we got man and homo. And that's about all the information on this, important information on this box. And we'll go with the bald one. Made in the USA. They got a website. And that's about that's about it for the Baldwin box. John Deere box. It's got the filter size. Made in USA. And that's about it. Okay, so let's take a look at the filter. And you know these filters are pure layers, totally a different size. I mean it's a lot bigger than these two guys. But uh, Jim tells me that he uses this purolator on his tractor, his lawn tractor. So that's why we're comparing them. F10P06G1. And this is a sticker. Right here it says Made in USA. All right, Man and Hummel. And this filter has seven elongated inlet holes, silicone ink drain back valve, metal core with louvers, bypass valve down below. Four grooves there for threads and a nitro rubber gasket. And the Baldwin filter. Well, we got the size right there. Right here it says made in USA. And this is all printed on instructions. 060822. It's shining too much there. 08. Two, three, five. Okay, the Baldwin has seven inlet holes. This will be a nitro rubber anti drain back valve. Metal core with holes. And the bypass valve seems to be right up here. So it's got a base and bypass valve with three grooves there for threads. Nitro rubber gasket. And the John Deere filter. This is a sticker. Got the filter size, instructions, the date code, 051013FF, product of USA. And the John Deere has eight inlet holes, one being a little bit larger. It looks like a silicone and drain back valve, metal core with holes. And the bypass valve, I don't know if this one has one or not. And it's got four grooves there for threads with a nitro rubber gasket. Look at the size difference there. It's about the same size. And pure layer gasket might be a little, well, pretty close. Pretty close to the same size. Let's get their weights. Okay, push it to the side here. Okay, the pure later. 248.8 grams. The Baldwin. 254 grams even. And the John Deere. 220.6 grams. They're all kind of close together. Alright, let's take these three filters. I'll open them up and see what they look like inside. Be right back. Okay, so here we got them all cut open, and they're quite a bit different from each other, especially 
these two with the bypass valves and the size difference obviously let's take a look at the gaskets first and I'll put them right in order I'll put the thickness up on the screen this is the pure later this is the center center one is the Baldwin and this one here is the John Deere and they all three of these are pretty much the same size so I'm sure all three would do a pretty good job the cans I'll put the thickness of these guys on the screen also and they're pretty much all the same thickness they're kind of on the thin side so these are the, like yeah they're, they're pretty much the same thickness it's the inside of them so I got those in order on the screen okay and let's look at these guys so we'll look at the look at the pure later first it's got this is more of the traditional bypass valve now the Baldwin has a coil spring and it has a bypass valve down here this end the base end and the John Deere filter has a bypass valve right here these holes go right through yeah. So I'm thinking uh, somehow if the filter was clogged, it would push on this and the oil would go through here and into those holes and right through there. So, okay, we'll put this, let's put this to the side too. Okay, let's put that there. And let's start with the pure later, the, with the, um, let's take this off with the filter element. We got a glute seam right here and the purulator has 42 pleats and this has a micron rating of 96.5% at 20 microns and they call it a multi-fiber high uh, density media. But you got nice metal end caps very clean also. Kind of a big gap here though. But otherwise, real clean filter. Okay, now let's take a look at this Baldwin oil filter. So we looked at this bypass valve. And there's a seam in here. It's probably got a metal crimp seam on the inside. I would say like right there. It's probably inside. We'll see later. But a lot of excess glue right here. Let's see it here also. And this is a cellulose media. I'm pretty sure it's a cellulose media. With a 23, with a micron rating of 23 nominal, 44, 45 absolute. Metal end caps also. But yeah, a lot of excess glue. There's a big hunk right there. It's a, it's a huge hunk. Okay. John Deere oil filter. I have no specs for this oil filter. Couldn't find anything. But it looks like a seam right there and this John Deere filter has 48 pleats I forgot if I said the amount of pleats on this Baldwin this has 48 pleats this John Deere also has 48 pleats metal end caps nice and clean yeah not too bad with the glue a little bit excess glue here and here but not too bad okay any drain bag valves now the pure later and John Deere have silicone and drain back valves. And uh, Baldwin has nitro rubber and drain back valve, which goes on like that. But, you know, you can see they cover up the holes nice. So, I'm sure they work fine. I don't know how they're mounted on his uh, lawn tractor. But let's take a look at these base plates up close. Let's look at the threads there, grooves. Yeah, pure layers definitely got more. Yeah, the inlet holes are probably even out. I'd give the base plate to the pure later. Looks better. Now let's get the size of the filter media. 
So this is the pure later, and it's 2.33 inches wide minus a tenth of an inch. Baldwin, 1.45 inches wide minus a tenth of an inch. And the John Deere, 1.28 inches wide minus a tenth of an inch. One thing I wanted to point out about the Purelator oil filter, these fit some of your Chevy engines, uh, the 1.6 liter, 1.8 liter, four cylinder engines. I think between these three, I would definitely use this Purelator if you could use it. If it fits, if it fits in as on as lawn tractor, I don't see why not. But uh, let's cut these filters open, stretch them out and see what the filter media looks like. Be right back. Okay, here they are stretched out, and the Pure Later oil filter is 50 inches long, and I want to add an inch to these guys because I took samples, so 45, 46 and a half inches for the Baldwin oil filter, and the John Deere filter is 45 inches long. Okay, so let's get the thickness on these samples and the pure later. 0.76 millimeters thick. Baldwin oil filter. 0.99 millimeters thick. And the John Deere filter. 1.14 millimeters thick. Let's take a look at them up close here. Okay. So P for Purelator, B for Baldwin, J for John Deere. It's the filtering side, back side. A little out of focus here for some reason. But um, these filters look very similar under a microscope. I was kind of, it's kind of confused there because the Baldwin's got such a lousy uh, micron rating, but they, they all look pretty much the same. Let's take a look at that picture. So looking at the microscope picture, I would say these filters probably do a pretty even job of filtering. Except for you get a lot more filter media with the Pure Later. And the bald one did have a metal crimp seam on the inside. Now let's take a look at the rest of the filter. So I'm not going to bother going through all the components again. But I wanted to mention these bypass valves. The Pure Later has a bypass valve setting of 12 to 15 PSI. This bald one has a bypass valve setting of 8 PSI. And I don't know what the John Deere is. I couldn't find anything on that. And also these two got, they got holes for cores. And the Pure Later has the lures. Let's take a look at these lures. Yeah, you can see they're opened up. You can see light coming through them. So those are fine. So unless there would be some kind of flow problem, you know, with the oil flowing, I would take this Pure Light oil filter over these two. You get a lot more filter media. What do you guys think about these filters? And again, I want to thank Jim for sending me these three oil filters. And I think I'll wrap this video up. And don't forget, Oil Filter Fridays. I try to open up an oil filter every Friday on this YouTube channel. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching and take care. The Pure Later filter media weighs 12.1 gram. The Baldwin filter media weighs 6.2 grams. The John Deere filter media weighs 4.3 grams.